about to analyze now with the news breaking from London on Julian Assange, townhall.com, co-host of Benson and Harf and a Fox News contributor. Guy, good morning to you. I don't know if you've hey, seen the, the statement Department of Justice. Reading through it again here, the charge relates to Assange's alleged role in one of the largest compromises of classified information in the history of the United States. Let's react on this first based on what we're learning, Guy. Well, I think this is a positive development. Julian Assange, I don't think, is a freedom fighter. You might argue that some of the transparency that he's facilitated could be a good thing, but I think the evidence is pretty clear, and our intelligence community obviously believes that he is an asset of the Kremlin. The Kremlin has been a hostile power to U.S. interests, and we have national security secrets for a reason. He helped expose them, and I hope that he gets a fair trial, which he should. I hope he gets extradited to the U.S., of course, and faces justice. Uh, also in this statement, refers to Chelsea Manning. Manning using the computers to download classified records and transmit the WikiLeaks. Clearly, the U.S. government thinks there was a conspiracy between the two of them. We're going to be a lot on this uh, throughout the day. One of the other big headlines, Guy, is Bill Barr's testimony from yesterday. Let me take you back to that Senate committee first. Listen to this. I think there's a spying did occur. Yes, I think spying did occur. Well, let me... But the uh, question is whether it was predicated, adequately predicated. And I'm not suggesting it wasn't adequately predicated, but I'd need to explore that. Is there evidence to support the action? I, I think that was his bottom line, despite yeah. the headlines that are... Um, suggesting that this was a clear spying effort. What, 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 he, what he tried to clear up throughout the day was that we need to figure out if there was evidence to suggest that the spying was warranted. Go ahead. Yeah, the hyperventilation over the word spying has been sort of strange to me because there was undoubtedly spying on U.S. citizens connected to the Trump campaign during the 2016 presidential cycle. The question, as Barr correctly asks, is was that predicated on something legitimate? Did that investigation arise from something where the origins in the U.S. national security interest. We have some of those answers. We don't have all of them. And I think every American should be concerned about that. I mean, we know that there were FISA warrants issued, for example, based very heavily on a dossier that was paid for by the opposition party. Now, there may have been other factors at play here. Trey Gowdy is a guy that I trust, and he's looked at some of the intelligence. He believes the FBI and the DOJ acted uh, appropriately based on the evidence that they had. There's an inspector general reported to this. I welcome those conclusions. Yeah. And I think what Barr said ought to be not terribly controversial. I, I support exactly what he testified. That probe should be out May or June. That's what he said earlier in the week. In yep. the meantime, we're on the Mueller report watch. It could come any moment, literally. <laughs> yep. Uh, Guy, thank you for that. Guy Benson in Washington, D.C. You bet. Thanks.